Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Olympus Chosen. So, I'm going to pick myself up and uh, forget about last episode. The, the attempts were, well the first attempt was atrocious. It was a learning attempt for sure and I learned a lot. Five turns in and getting demolished that was uh that was pretty pretty terrible as i said we're picking ourselves back up i've got a plan for this episode and potentially some other um another idea or following that first before we get into all that let's do a city encounter Relaxing for the evening at the Sleeping Lion, a shifty-looking man approaches you, hand outstretched. In it are a pair of pale dice with crude marks scratched on them. Greetings, friends. You look like you could stand to liven things up, up a bit. Care for a quick game of bone dice with me? I'm sure we can make it interesting. His other hand pats a coin purse at the side. You know, oof. I mean, I know the scoundrel is totally down for something like this, but after after what we just been through, I think we are just there to relax. So we are going to refuse this man of a game of dice this one time. Oh, okay. You laugh and wave away the man's offer. You get all the excitement you need fighting toe to toe with vicious monsters in combat. What matters most is planning and tactics, which are far more interesting than some random roll of the dice. That wasn't really what I was going for, but um, I'll take the plus one reputation. I guess some others saw that happen and, uh, and thought more highly of us, <laughs> I guess. Okay. So I think a really good way, in my opinion, to pick myself back up and uh, collect collect myself a little bit, collect Electrana of Hephaestus this Ate, is to go hunting for Vermlings. I love it. Nasty, smelly Vermlings. So, there's a Vermling nest nearby, and we could go plunder the Vermling nests collection of treasure this was a side quest we got some time ago um from i want to say it was from a uh an encounter in the city i think i don't remember but i remember the guy saying hey go out there you can take whatever you want but there's something of mine in there some artifact of some kind so it says loot one ornate chest to win and kill all enemies in all rooms I will gladly take on some vermlings, their pet hounds, and some bears, sure. Um, <clears throat> I think I think they are all down for something like this, and I am too. This is going to be a boost in confidence after <laughs> after the last time. This is a side quest, and it got me thinking. I remember a quest some time ago way down here the sunken vessel which is another side quest and it also has lurkers so with the victory hopeful victory uh in today's episode against the vermlings nest that would put ate up to five out of the six and then of course we have uh, we need the three lurkers and one spitting drake. I can't believe I uh, mixed that up last time. Um, as I said, the fact that I I got one of them correct and the other one incorrect it was just even more ridiculous. It, it even added more so to the uh, the insanity of that last one. So we need some lurker 
blood or poison or whatever. And um, this would be a good place, side quest and for uh, Hephaestus's personal quest. I mean, we still do need to find a spitting drake. We, we've got plenty of time for that. Um, it's not that I want to get rid of Ate, but I think her time is coming to an end and we would be unlocking the Eclipse. So, I think I'm okay with that. Ooh, one other thing. I did... I don't think I made the change here. Reviving Shock might actually be a good one to bring back, but I might leave it out to keep Flamethrower in. Yeah, I think I might do that, but uh, hey, I did make a switch. I brought Flint bu Flint Lock back to get some more loot, and I dropped Single Out uh, because I have Stick to the Shadows. I have uh, Flanking Strike. You know, I've got a couple other, a couple big ones here already, even Burning Oil. So I don't really need to have all of these major attacks. Flintlock still has a major attack on the bottom, which will be helpful, maybe. And I can pick up some loot between now and then. So anyway, let's do this. So along the road, Trade Caravan passes by you on the road. This event isn't too uncommon, but what catches your eye is a familiar looking Enox traveling with the caravan as a guard. As the sight of you, the bright, the brute lights up and gives you a big wave, then rushes over to greet you. Really? He is positively joyful to see you and immediately starts to reminisce about all the exciting battles you fought together. Slapping you on the back, he implores you to travel with the caravan for a while to give you all a chance to catch up. You know, yeah. Yeah. I think this is a good opportunity for Ate in particular to catch up with him. Uh, I don't remember if... Was Hephaestus... Did he ever get to meet him? I don't remember... But I think this is a good opportunity. Let's agree to travel with the Brute for a little while. So what... Uh, so what if it's in the wrong direction? Oh my... As you walk with the Brute and talk with him about your early adventuring days, you find a hint of sadness behind his enthusiasm. Why? He explains how he fell on hard times after leaving the group and had to resort to jobs like this to make ends meet. The brute seems uplifted by your conversation, but the day grows late. By the time you head back and arrive to your destination, you are incredibly tired. Ugh! We have to discard three cards. The nest is not hard to find. Vermlings are not exactly known for their subtlety. In fact, you smell the stench of rotting meat and wet animal fur long before you lay your eyes on the crude holes and piles of brush that make up the Vermling Swarm's home. See what I'm talking about? That dirty, stinking Vermlings. You carefully survey the area. As the man described, there's a pit back behind the nests, but it's hard to see what lies at the bottom without alerting the Vermlings. You surmise that you'll have to do as the man suggests and slaughter these vile creatures before you can take proper stock of the treasure. You head around to the opposite side of the nest and prepare to attack. You know, sometimes the story makes it sound like you're just slaughtering helpless creatures. Uh, I know, is it the third scenario? Scenario number three? when you attack the uh, the Enox encampment and you're basically just slaughtering whole families. Um, <laughs> sometimes it makes it sound like you're just terrible, terrible people or, or beings of some kind. So, Explorer or Plunderer? Explorer. Uh, Zealot or Masochist? 
we'll go for Zealot. I, I want to I want to push him to the edge. I want him to be burning cards like crazy. Uh, lay about or be the first opener. I like it. But before I do go, I did want to see if there was something here that I'd rather take. Was there one that I had before and I and I switched it out? I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't think I did. <laughs> Round one. I heard a lot of traps. There is a door in this one that's good. To a big room and then some little pits of fur balls and and then what do we got here? We got some difficult terrain. And a couple traps back here, so some pushes would be great, but I don't think we can do that. Uh, we do have, since we have Feistus with us... Oh, I have to drop cards before I can continue. Right. I think I will I'll get back to you on this one. I'm going to drop all the cards, put some thought into this, and then... Um, now I'll get back and, and explain my choices for round one. Okay. Well, we've got one, two elite Vermling Scouts. Uh, normal and elite Hound. And then three normal Vermling Scouts here. And then, of course, those two traps. Uh, as we see here, we have some retaliation from them. Let's retaliate one, and they've got retaliate two. Yep. And we're going to be starting off with a Feistus with Toxic Bolt, only because I want to be going early, and I'm hoping 18 is early enough. Uh, I'm more interested in Flamethrower to get the shield out so that any incoming attacks will be uh, shielded against for, for both of them. And they, of course, have their own shield with their with their armors, too. I ended up dropping Net Shooter because I don't see this being too useful immediately. I don't want to be burning this anyway, and, and that's probably not going to be that useful. Ink Bomb. Although that move... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, hook shoot, hook gun. Because I don't think I'll be able to use... I'm going to be standing behind. That's probably going to be something I'm going to use more over here. I've actually put some thought into this. If I put... Let's say I jump... Um, who would it be? I guess Ate from here, jump, open that, and then jump back over here or something, then they would have to come across this, and I can pull them across this as well. It's a it's a trap of five, so pretty decent. Uh, I also have Tinker's Tools if I really need to just disarm one. I'll just do that, so. Then at 85 and 95, I'm going really late because I want them to come to us, potentially. Uh, Electrana's going Daybreak. To bless and well move to move and bless and then mobilizing axiom to bring in some uh, light and then the scoundrel burning oil and hidden daggers to um, I'm thinking maybe if there's like a, a clump like this I could use burning oil with the volatile bomb and that's going to do a lot of damage. But we'll see. There, there should be some clumping here. We'll, we'll just have to see. Yeah, so these are pretty nasty attacks. It's an attack of 4 plus 2. But since he's going to go first anyway, it's not going to be... It's just going to be an attack of 4. And it will be against her. And then this one will come in and make an attack of 4. Maybe. 
One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe that one's not going to reach us. And then they're going to do some range attacks. So there should be some clumping here, and that, that could be pretty nice. Uh, let's get that shield up. And then, whoops. We'll just... Yeah, can't reach anybody. Uh, we'll just do this, and that'll be it. I could do, I could bring a potion in now. Two, four, six, seven. And I think I might do that for, for him because my other plan is empowering command will, uh, will be my next thing, basically my next action. And I'll be giving that to her to bring three cards back. So I, I think I'll use this for him. The thing is, I don't think I need to use it yet, so I'll just end uh, end the turn for now, and we'll think about it later. Oh, so it did get all the way in there. Didn't do a lot of damage though. Yeah, we're fine with that. We're off to a great start here. Have they pulled all of their plus ones now? No, they're... All right. But look at all that clumping. That's perfect. So... I'll make this attack. It would be amazing if I could skewer that, but... Alas. Uh, there's not much more I can do. So I'll just... I'll go for the smaller one here. Or the, the normal. This is just the retaliative one instead of the two. Fantastic. And we're just gonna heal. I don't see a reason why not to heal. And move. Skip. And then we'll just bless her, of course. And of course, I forgot again. Uh, I definitely would have blessed... Ate back in uh, in the city, but I forgot. And it's still just doing the one bless. So we want to go invisible, which will uh, strengthen us. And then burning oil, and I'm definitely going to use that bomb right there. I'm thinking maybe I should hit... That's not enough. Clear. There it is. I'm thinking I should hit, like, the two up front. Because we'll be able to get through these other ones pretty quickly, too. Let's do that. Yeah, so one is immediately dead. The other one is going to bleed to death, basically. And this one is also poisoned. Cool. Round two. As I said, I'm going to go with Empowering Command. And that's going to give her three cards back. And I think I'm just going to go for... That is a top ability, so I want a bottom ability. So we're starting off with Ate at 3. Which means she's coming out of invisibility, but uh, Flurry of Blades and Smoke Bomb. So Smoke Bomb, let's pull you in a little bit, but mostly just to get the uh, the curse. I don't really care if you're standing here or not. I'm going to make an attack against you. I'll probably just attack this one and I'll attack there too. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate that I can't reach further, but... No, I kind of like this idea even more though. 
I want to get darkness up first, and then we can get this moving next time. So maybe I'll do it this way. Flanking strike, and then I can just jump back here. Um, or one, two, three, four, five, or five, and then... I'll try and figure it out. I, I want to be doing as much damage, obviously, but getting darkness and... Um, we want to be using that strength to our best best of our ability. Anyway, let's keep going here. 18 uh, Electrana with Righteous Strength for that shield and move after Path of Glory, hopefully killing the normal elite there. Uh, with advantage, of course. So then we have Stunshot. Going at 20 with Feistus and Ink Bomb to get moving with another jump. Let's see how far we can get moving. I don't want to be stuck back here. Uh, they're not moving. And those are major attacks, so we just don't want to be standing next to any of them. And these are immobilizing attacks going at 6. Well, that's not very helpful at all, is it? So I think... I think what I'm going to have to do here is jump here. No. Oof. If I jump over here, I want to be standing next to... I don't want to be standing next to any of these guys. But if I stand here, then this one's going to die. But this one's going to attack. But it would be attacking at... Uh, disadvantage, but it's also going to immobilize, so I'd rather some, like, just one of them being immobilized. I don't really want anyone immobilized, but if I'm gonna have somebody immobilized... Of course, I mean, they're doing the same, the, like, the perfect thing that I don't want to happen. <laughs> uh, they're going too early. Alright, well... And they're poisoning, too. Wonderful. Okay. I, d I don't want to be back there anymore. Let's get out of here. And then we're going to use this. Make an attack. Uh, here, here, and here. What is going on here? They're just pulling everything that uh, that they need. Now let's let's kill you. There. I can't move, and there's no reason to uh, to pull the shield up anymore because nobody else is gonna attack her. And then with you, we could actually... I could have you stand right here. And then stun that one. Or, I mean, it's gonna die, yeah. Because he's poisoned. Well, that's good. This one's gonna die now. And then we have to contend with that, too, so... Right. Round three. If she can... One, two, three... She can't. I need to stand back there, so it's, she's gonna have to move over here to get stick to the shadows. 
uh, which means she's not going to be able to use Stick to the Shadows, but she doesn't really need it. And she's stuck kind of back there, but we can move out of the way. Let's do that. Let's go reinvigorating Elixir for some heal. There's a lot of loot around here that I really like to pick up, but I don't think I have any looting cards now. Where's that loot to? Down there, burning oil. So maybe I'll, I'll pick it all up though. She doesn't really need gold anymore. And we can use that. Uh, going way too early but luckily it's not that bad um, yeah this is this is really unfortunate I guess if I was thinking ahead then I'd put him here but I mean, he's dead anyway, so. Hey! It's about time. Let's get out of here, shall we? And then we'll just disarm him from here. And continue to heal Electrona up. And I don't think... What would be another, what would be a good card for now to bring in? I could see Toxic Bolt being a good one or Stun Shot. Let's use it. Let's get Toxic Bolt. Let's get some poison on this. We'll take a long rest back there, and then you can do Toxic Bolt and Dangerous Contraption to walk away. So he's going to attack, move, attack, but of course he's disarmed, so we won't have to worry about that at all. So let's do this, and one, two, three, get some poison on him. Pick up some loot, steal some loot, more like it. Ah, he's going before or after that is yeah this is unfortunate I guess I'm just going to do this I don't really want to have to walk back here again but you just need to get rid of that thing So what card do we drop already? I'm thinking Visage of the Inevitable, actually, because the, the types of enemies we have here are pretty easy to take out. Yeah, we'll do that. Round five. We'll long rest. We'll do something like that to get rid of one of the traps. That worked out perfectly. And then, actually, I wonder, let's go 26, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, backstab, 
to open the door and then back up. And I wonder if something in there will be going early enough to uh, to get rid of one of those traps for us. But I also don't really... I, mean, I don't want her to just stand around here. She could just... If she did a loot too, it would only be these two. Like, it wouldn't be... If she was getting a lot more, then I would do it. But if she was standing right there, that would be perfect. I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm just gonna... Okay, I'm gonna use Flintlock to just loot these two. And I'm gonna move. I'm gonna use Smoke Bomb to move. There. Done. So... Yeah, walk over to here. And we'll get rid of that one, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Give him an XP. Loot that. There. I made up my mind. <laughs> Heal up. And... Unwavering mandate. Mm, I want to use that. I want to. I want to see it. I'm thinking uh, daybreak. Daybreak might be a card. I'm just going to be getting rid of. If this thing was actually working, I I would love this card a lot more. But moving two just to bless. I mean, I could move one, two, three, four to with the boots and bless somebody too. Uh, I just I have a really hard time getting rid of cards for her. You know what? Cautious advance. I'm not. I'm not too afraid of incoming damage in this kind of a scenario. I, I'll, I'll use Daybreak uh, for that purpose. I, maybe not now, but I, I will continue doing some uh, some blessings. Since I keep forgetting to bless Ate back in Gloomhaven, I'll, I'll do it now. Round six. So we're going to be going first with the Sunkeeper Electrana. And actually, I am going to use Daybreak. And I'm going to move to here. I have to reveal a room by opening a door. And I'm not doing it this round. But there's some more doors later. So, I hope, anyway. Uh, we're going to move two. One, two. We're going to bless. And then we're going to bless both of them. And then at 20, he's going to be opening the door. A Feistus with Dangerous Contraption and Stun Shot. Uh, walk in and find somebody to just stun. Possibly the one that's going to do the most damage. Or if I can find a, a good grouping, we'll do that. And then um, Ate going in last with Flanking Strike to get the Darkness element. And then Burning Oil for that major attack again. Uh, I don't, I can't do that again, of course. But I can at least make an attack like that. So, that'll work. I was thinking of using the boots to get to here, but I can just, you know, have a move forward to get in again. But I, you know... Standing here or here, what really would be the difference? One, two, three, four. Plus my two for the boots. So I think I'll use the boots later in order to get, like once I know what's in the room, then uh, I'll have a better understanding of where I should use my boots. Man, this would be so great if it actually was working as intended. She's got three blessings now. And he just has the one. And I'm thinking of getting Mana Potion. Or taking my Mana Potion. Maybe not. Maybe not yet. Let's see. What's behind the door? Oh, well, hello. That is a lot of stuff. Where's the door? Oh, okay. The two doors are right there here and here okay well 
We've got a... There's a Shaman. We have one Elite Scout, two Normal Shaman, uh, one, two, three Normal Scouts, and then the Bear. Attack, move two, attack. Uh, this is going to make attack one at range three. I mean, maybe I just back up, but then do you think we would be blocked if I do that? What are you doing back there? Move one, attack two at range. Four. One. So if you went here, one, two, three, four. So if I back up one. I don't think I'd be getting many attacks. And it would only be the bear moving up to here. But I need somebody in the way in order to get Stick to the Shadows ready. Because uh, I'm, I'm wanting to do that in the next round. Hmm. I don't want him in here, that's for sure. How far are you going to go? One, two, three, and then at range three. One, two, three. Man. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull back, I think. But if I pull back, then I can't use my stun shot. So I mean if I pull back I don't need to use the stun shot because he's just gonna move up too. That's a wounding attack four. These are just piddly attacks. I guess I'll just stay right where I am. There's going to be spaces all over the place that I can use for her. So I did actually, I, maybe I should have said this, but I did end up taking a short rest with uh, Vistus. And that was Restorative Mist. I didn't really see a, a, a reason to... Um, to sit uh, to take a long rest back there so i will i will do this i don't think i want to take the the volatile bomb for just these two if it was a shaman instead and it was doing like a cursing attack or something then maybe i'd do it but all right let's uh let's do it this way yeah see i it clicks it itself i don't maybe when i click no, that didn't do anything. Um, okay. Now he's stuck there. Oh, come on. I'll burn that. What a nice guy, he's up there. The support character is taking all the damage for us. Finally. So I'm gonna put her right here. Right there. Or maybe right here. I, don't, I need to find a place. I'm, I'm trying to get to a place where I can use Stick to the Shadows. But I need somebody else in the way. 26. I should actually be able to get up there. Maybe not. 23. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's not close enough. Oh, but, but then my boots. Right, 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 right. So stand, I think right there. I'm gonna use my burning oil and eagle eye goggles on you. There we go. There we go. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna have to use this 
and probably I'm thinking of doing this so that I can hit this with advantage against the bear. That's my idea here. Round seven. So one, two, three, four, five. So she needs to go with a mo mobilizing axiom and tactical order in order for this to work. So that she can get up there in time and he can't move at all. So that's, I think that's how that's going to go. She does have her boots. Does she have her boots? She does. She could jump over to this with a flurry of blades instead of hidden daggers. And then we have the chance of going early or late in the next round. Uh, but I think it's better that we do that. Let's go with something like this. Toxic Bolt. I think I'm going to use this with my Eagle Eye Goggles against you. Uh, as long as I can see. Is it L1? Two. It says I can see, which is strange because this does not look like a hex, right? But it, it says that I can see through it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I mean, we can just do something else, but then heal, heal up a little bit. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, attack, big attack, kind of big attacks, and then uh, healing and blessing himself. Oh, they're going first. That I. Huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it says that I can go that far. All right, let's do this. Should I use my goggles? You know what? Let's use my goggles. I think that's worth it. Oh, that wasn't my goggles. <laughs> no, it was my goggles. What did I? What did I get? A minus two at a times. Oh. I think I clicked on, yeah, I clicked on the power potion when I was saying goggles. God, that was a, a dumb mix up. And we'll skip that movement and we'll make an attack. I still want to make this attack here, I think. Um,. Yeah. All right. Let's make this attack. And I didn't use like this was a bad bad turn. Too many mix-ups here. I will heal. I will not take anything else, and that is all. Looks like he's not actually going to be healing anybody. Round eight. Okay, I, I really... That was a terrible round. I have made way too many stupid mistakes. Okay. 
Bandit. Okay, I think I can make up for the last round here. Flurry of Blades and Backstab, just because that's what we've got available. Empowering Command. Defensive Stance. We'll, uh, we'll use this. As long as she doesn't move away, I guess. That's, that's my next question. Am I going to have her move away? And uh, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, but, defensive stance for an attack anyway. Maybe instead I go with Path of Glory and Unwavering Mandate for some healing. That might be a better use. I'll be going a little bit later, but I think that's fine. Uh, and then this. Here it is. Disintegration Beam. Five, five, three. So if, as long as I can go early enough and they're in this configuration or orientation, ink bomb to jump, one, two, three, four, and then disintegration beam. Uh, they're moving and looting, so they're not going to be moving, which is okay. And then the shaman is going to stay right there. So this is going to work out. Uh, this guy is going to jump somewhere and loot, but at least we don't have a whole lot of incoming damage uh, That <laughs> except for that of course um, I could use backstab I could use backstab instead but I think I want to just use this I'm going to make an attack here, here, and here. They're all, like, these two are going to not be at advantage, but they're not at disadvantage either, which is okay. Uh, oh, actually, there's a little guy back there. So let's make this attack, that attack, which definitely looks like that's a, there's something going on there. Um, and... I'll still make this attack because I want I want to remove some of that health. We don't have to worry about you. One. Wow. A lot of rollers there. That worked out pretty well. We're not going to move anywhere because... Actually, nope, you know what? We can move. There's no reason for us to just stand right where we are. Um, because she's not going to be doing that maneuver now. She's just going to use Path of Glory and then heal a couple people. Uh, probably herself. And uh, Hephaestus. So she can move away. I don't want her to go too far. Do we want to just open a door with her? We could open this door, but that sounds crazy, doesn't it? Let's stand between the doors. We'll just get her ready and we'll probably, she's going to take a long rest or something and then we can open the door after that. Right, right. <laughs> All right, the moment we've been waiting for. Disintegration beam. Uh, it's beautiful. Actually, I think I would rather use this attack here now. To make sure, and then we can just heal three someone. Uh, I'll just, I'll heal you up, little guy. A lot of gold sitting around here. I think I know what to do with all that gold. That.
Uh, yeah, so round nine, we'll be taking a long rest with the scoundrel. And we just have this one little guy standing there. Everybody else is dead. Yep. So I'll probably get close to the door and then open the door. Uh, this smaller room so that we can rest and we know we don't have to face too many enemies. And then we'll get to this after we after everyone's taken a long rest. We can open the bigger room there. Unless, of course, they're connected. We'll, we'll have to just see about that. Um, let's pick that up. And maybe... I guess that would be it, wouldn't it? I can use this just to... Uh, get, a, get rid of a card, so we might as well use that one, I guess. And then over here we can use... One, two, three, four, five. You know what? We could use Empowering Command on him. And then he, we could really open the door and not feel so... Not feel anything about it. But I would have to get over to him. We'll use Dazzling Charge for that. Just move over a little bit. Help him out. And this guy is going to just do whatever he needs to do. Move and attack for two. Nothing too scary. There. 12 gold. Not too bad. don't know which cards I'm looking for here. Probably Ink Bomb, because we want to... What, one, two... Like, we can jump over this instead of one, two, three, four. We can... One, two, three... Four. I guess it doesn't really matter, though, does it? Well, we'll take it anyway. And, uh... Stun Shot. And maybe Dangerous Contraption. All of them have, have good movement. And they also have good attacks or summoning. So these are all really good options. These two, yeah, not so necessary uh, at this moment. But we've burned four so far. And we need to have three or fewer cards at the end. So we are on our way. That's it. Okay, I'm thinking no, yeah, I'm thinking no. And uh, backstab maybe? I'd like to use that move one more time, but we don't really have to go too much further, so we'll burn backstab. Okay, we'll just pick with Pick what we've got. You, whoops. I'd like to take him out as we're opening that door. I don't really care if he's alive when we're opening the door. Uh, when the door's open, he's not going to be doing too much to us. But that said, I do not, I, I, I don't want to like sit here, kill him, and then open the door. That's, that's a waste of time. So let's use Ink Bomb is definitely more useful now because then... He'd have to go all the way around this. One, two, three, four. So we can uh, open the door maybe with him. Although I would like to open the door with her. We can just go later. We'll use stun shot after. And then you, we can go even... Maybe we can go... Yeah, let's go really late. Hidden Daggers and Flurry of Blades. And from here, we should be able to hit a whole bunch of them. So we can hit and then, uh, like, hit and then Hammer Blow to walk one, two, three, four. There we go. Move four and attack one. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We got that, and the, that's pretty helpful. Except I can't open the door now. I have to walk through this trap. One, two, three, four. 
I mean, we could just have him open the door anyway. But I would really like to open the door. You know what? This is this is fine. <laughs> we'll just take it. Whatever. It's just four damage. Uh, this isn't so bad. Except that's kind of annoying. And then you're going to move five and attack for two, but... If I stay right where I am... Yep, we're going to stay right there. We already have light, so let's go. Now I'm regretting walking over that trap. Okay, I'll take that. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter anymore, but... Undo. You know what? If I stand here... Then we could come through the doors from both sides. And then from here I can still do some controlling, so it's not too bad. Uh, we'll... Actually, this might be a good opportunity for that. A plus three? Nice! And then we don't have to worry about incoming attacks from them. Uh, this guy could do a, a range attack next round, but they're never too dangerous. Of course she's going to do that, right? Uh, one here, here, and here. I was going to say, unfortunately, none of them are poisoned, but... There we go! That worked out really well. Really, really well. Okay. Uh, I could use that. But I could also do this into the next room, too. Yeah, let's let's skip this. And I You know what? I'm going to take this potion now and I'm going to take um hidden daggers back. Round 11. Now we can just take a long rest. We don't have to worry about this incoming damage and this shouldn't be too bad. We'll see about that, though. Uh, and you are invisible already. But I was thinking of flanking strike and burning oil. And I can walk in to about... Well, I can walk in all the way to here and make that attack against you. And maybe the attack would go... Yeah, the attack would go against her instead. And she can handle that. And maybe... Maybe he just walks into this room now. with dangerous contraption or disorienting flash ooh is this too crazy am i attempting too much at the same time i don't think so let's do it <laughs> stunned not too much That's one, two, three. That's good. We are strengthened. We're bringing in uh, darkness. Is, is it night? Dark. And we're staying invisible. Of course we are. Uh. Yep.
So let's walk in there. Oh, I was gonna say, how do I? So open that door. With the screams of dying vermlings at your back, you approach the final nest. Many more of the creatures stand before you, baring their teeth. To the right of the nest, you see an orb of black glass on a crude stone pedestal. A deep crack runs through the glass, nearly splitting the orb in half, and you cannot help but feel you've seen it somewhere before. Black orb. Equally unnerving is how out of place the orbs look in these dirty surroundings. And why is it here, when all the other treasure is supposedly in the pit? You shake the questions from your mind, and focus on the task at hand, killing vermlings. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it? Look at that. All right. Let's keep going. Uh, we've got a stun here. What are they going to do? Not so much damage. The shamans aren't really even doing too much damage either. Uh, but they are all going to be focusing on him. So if I go in a little bit more. Then I use Disorienting Flash to get you. And... I, mean, I guess it doesn't really matter though, does it? Yep. <laughs> sure. There we go. Burning cards, it's his job now. Come on. Uh. How many more of this? Seriously, come on. <laughs> and then they pulled the times too. Really? They have pulled every single, uh, almost all of the cards, actually. They did pull the minus two and a lot of the minus uh, ones, too. But, man. What insanity is this? I think I'm not going to use that. And I'm going to drop. Daybreak. I don't think Daybreak's going to be as useful. I need the movement now. And this guy has two more turns. Well, this one more turn, and then he's going to die by himself. So if I can take this one out and then make my way into here, that would be great. I think I see some things to do in here. Okay, round 12. This is looking pretty dire, but round 12, we'll, we'll be able to get through this. Okay. For this turn to work, I need to be going first, everybody. Uh, but if it doesn't, then um, maybe she's, she's going to be the one taking most of the damage, I think. Uh, maybe not. He might be, I don't know. We're, we're going to have to see. I had to take a short rest with him because I only had really late cards. I think I had a 40 set, this flamethrower and like dangerous contraption, I think. Uh, so I, I wanted to be going much earlier than that. And we're, whoops, and we're going to be going first with Ate with smoke bomb, which I'm going to use just to move in there. One, two, three to two. I could pull this into here, though. Huh. But this door is closed. And I've been staring at this thinking, why can't I see this? And then I realized I can't see anything. And that's when I, you know, finally realized 
you know, this door is closed. It, it's really difficult to see when you're standing on both sides. So, I don't know. It, if there was like a... Uh, I don't know. Like if the door showed up a little silhouette of it or something. Yeah, okay, there it is. You can see it from here. But anyway. Yeah, I guess you can see it. My bad. So we're going to go, we're going to walk in and then hidden daggers for this attack, I think, to make some pretty major attacks over here. And then we're going to be going with a Feistus net shooter to go really early and ink bomb for that major attack back there. Uh, or maybe here, or I don't know, just to make a major attack. Uh, an AOE since they're all bunched up. And then... Um, Electrona is going to come in with Tactical Order for that move 4. And with Boots, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And Unwavering Mandate so that he gets to go again immediately, which I will probably burn another card either flamethrower if I want to move up um, or maybe just do like a stun shot if it looks pretty rough so we'll see how this goes okay actually this is absolutely perfect uh, yeah they're gonna be healing early which kind of actually that's that's not good because he's gonna attack and then they're gonna start healing um, they're just going to be jumping around looting. They're going to be doing that later. And then this guy is going to be moving three and attacking for five. One, two, three. I think we'll all be moved away by that point. So I think this will work out fine. I mean, if this is the case, I might actually just pull him across now. And uh, and don't do anything else. Because I don't need to open this door. My other thought was, if it got really rough, she walks in, makes that attack, um, and then we can have her go again immediately with uh, maybe a stick to the shadows and flintlock, or maybe just flintlock. So I, th I think to make things better, let's just do this. It doesn't put a curse, I don't think, because oh, there is a curse there. Huh. I thought because it died, it wouldn't get a curse. And maybe I, maybe I already did that before. I don't know. Okay. Well, I, I think the. What I should do is make this attack here. Ooh, you know what? Let's make this attack and stun you. So that I don't have to worry about one of those. You will still move up and then make a heal, but that will still work pretty well, I think. took one out and since none of them are going to be moving or anything like that let's skip that and I think I might just walk right into this is that a bad idea where's she gonna go she needs to move four uh, oh she's she could walk this way too one two three four five six or something like that This might be a good place for him, actually. Yeah, <laughs> actually, that was perfect. Uh, okay, so I don't even need to use the boots. Let's walk into 
here. Yep. And then we'll have him go again. With the flamethrower. And stun shot. And we'll just go flamethrower right here. And then he can walk away after that. And that will save him, I guess. Uh, maybe he can run around here, open up that door. I don't know, something like that. Flamethrower, right there. It would be nice if I had my eagle eye goggles, but... Oh, he took out another one. And we... No, we can't do that. We've got the... Uh, okay, never mind. Um, he's... I mean, he's super low on cards now, so... I, I do need to remember. I, I need to grab that, so... That's another thing. Let's uh, let's open up this door, I guess. There's three gold here, three gold there. I think that was worth it, right? So this one will die next round. I don't know, this is looking pretty bad now. She's got a lot of cards. She still has a lot of cards and, and she does too. Tinker is definitely going to be exhausted. Hmm. Round 13. Okay, we're gonna go First with Electrana, Righteous Strength for move, but more importantly, the shield and Dazzling Charge for some heal, and also, very important, to bring in light. I, I saw this, I want to do it, but I'm also, I don't really want to, uh, what is it? I, I don't want to use one of these attacks without advantage because there's a lot of shield there so I'd, I'd like to use it maybe it'll still be there when it when it uh, gets to that tur her turn again but then tinker's tools dangerous contraption we're just gonna just gonna you know walk back around maybe he's gonna be the one that goes and gets it but I want him actually let's go really late with him um, and then in that case stick to the shadows and flintlock will walk up and we can make that attack and you know. You know. So, some pretty weak attacks, but we should be able... We should be able to uh, to take one or two of them out before they get a turn. I'm hoping. I guess maybe just one of them. Maybe. Uh, skip and confirm the action. And then we'll just heal up. She's not going to be... I guess she's going to be taking some hits, but they're not going to be too bad. And she's healed up. and So it should be fine. And then the scoundrel. I guess if we move up to here with her... then this one's not going to move and it won't be uh, healing anyone. But this one is going to move and then heal that wound off of it. But, yeah, I'm not too worried about it, I guess. Confirm. And we'll make this attack. Actually, we could make this attack. Let's do it. Maybe we... Maybe we can... Do a lot of damage here. Looks like it. Well done. Well done. Uh, 
Okay, and your turn. Oh yeah, we got our yields. And the Tinkerer. We'll do this. We can disarm that trap too. Why not? And then we'll just have him collect the uh, the orb in the next turn. All right. Okay. Since we have light, let's go one, two, three. We do have our boots, so we'll just use this and then Path of Glory to make an attack through that. Uh, with our boots, just to move three, one, two, three. Yep. We'll take a short rest with you. That's fine. And we'll go Flurry of Blades. Let's go Smoke Bomb and uh, Flanking Strike. And we can pull somebody, maybe you to here, and then we can do that Flanking Strike. I guess I would hope that... No, I guess if it's pulled away, then I can stand here. Uh, and then we'll take short rest with you. And now we have fulfilled our Zealot. Three or fewer cards. In this case, I mean, we can continue burning if we'd like. So I'm going to move over here and then maybe just bring in a, the battle bot and take a long rest or something. We'll figure that out. Uh... Yeah, let's pull this one. There. Get another curse in there. And then flanking strike. <laughs> ah. What are you doing? Cursing? That's wonderful. At times two, huh? Well, we will burn Tinker's tools. Yeah, whatever. So we'll move over there. And we'll summon this in. Just for some extra experience. There we go. Now we just have to kill these three. I'm wondering if I... Yeah, I guess I should do this, huh? Yeah, I should do that. There. Nice. Well done. Um... I'll burn this too. not going to I don't think it's going to I just want to test it out I don't I don't think it's gonna work no it's not uh, we'll use this I think you have to you have to end your turn so unwavering mandate is immediately perform one extra turn so if you move onto a pile I've, I've done this before if you move on top of a pile of loot then you can pick it up because you're performing a whole turn again.
<laughs> I wasn't even going for something like that. There he goes. Okay, well, we'll do this and this, and she's going to do something like that. And that should be enough. Let's do that. All right. Perfect. Pick up all that loot for me. Another experience, and then we'll make this attack here. Times two. That's great. And unless I'm going crazy here, then uh, this is all we have to do. Okay, I don't have a curse. I was wondering about that. Uh, undo. I'm gonna pick up the loot instead, I think. Is there... Is there a place where there's more loot? Three. 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 No? Okay. Victor. The Vermlings and their animal allies lie dead at your feet. And you heft the cracked orb in your hand. This is what I mean. It's like we've we've just absolutely murdered entire families of vermlings. Uh, <laughs> when you first saw it, it almost projected an aura of malevolence. But now, when you look at it up close, it seems much more mundane. Not wanting to break it, you hold it against your chest and head over to the pit where all the treasure is supposedly located. It better be there. 104 damage for the Scoundrel. 30 damage taken by the Sunkeeper. And 24 by the Tinkerer? What? Uh, how much experience and loot? 772. That's good. That's 21, 21, and just 6. But 17 experience for Hephaestus. Well done. I think everybody's good. Yep. Everyone picked up a perk point. That's great. So as you can see, that if I was that messy for the uh, the scenario, the previous scenario, you know, there's no hope. That scenario... Stay hydrated. Uh, thank you. Uh, that scenario is definitely one that uh, you can be as messy as you want I was burning cards left and right um, took a ton of damage healed up just a little bit it's some scenarios are just really easy you know payment due uh, okay so this one goes to another side quest then maybe we don't have to go to that other place after all but We picked up a level up here. Yeah. Okay. And we've also picked up uh, perks for those two as well. Oh, we have to return to Gloomhaven or we continue on. I see. I see. Okay. Now I'm. Now things are making more sense. Because I, I didn't see the bar, but you can clearly see that... Uh, that she she got that so we won't be able to that won't increase or or be activated until we get there how about this oh we can spend so we can do this i say i put in bludgeon i like that or two heals the healing would be nice with with advantage Now that all of the rolling modifiers are are uh, added to your last one, 
that could be a heal one or two pretty frequently. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. Recover. And I can do it again, too. So that would be four plus or four heals. Heal one. That would be pretty nice. Let's see what uh, Feist this picks up. Maybe intensify. No. I mean, the heals would be good for him, too, but it's just a... Uh, I mean, it's a plus one attack modifier, and it's uh, a heal to self. But I think I want to... That would be good. I kind of want to do it. Let's do it. It sounds interesting. I don't normally go for that. Uh, at this time. Um, but honestly, it's it's not bad. It's kind of a good one. Okay. Well, I'm thinking... Thinking we continue on. And I will leave that up to you. Uh, don't let me convince you, of course. I'll make a poll. And we can go back to Gloomhaven. I can already see what everybody was going to want to do. We want to go pick up that payment, right? And claim the reward... So basically, I, I just took a look at it uh, to remind myself, and it is to, I mean, we're looking at this pit, let's jump into the pit, right? Or do we go back, if we go back to Gloomhaven right now, we can pick up a level for Ate. I think that's a really good idea too. So there's nothing stopping us from going to this later. Uh, the only thing, of course, is a road event. So we can go there without a road event or we can head to gloomhaven pick up a level eight for ate and we can just go back right after um but i'll leave that up to you guys um for the next episode and i think that's what we'll do so we'll do this regardless should we go back to gloomhaven for a uh, for a level up, or should we just go as is? And I'll uh, I'll post the poll, so keep an eye out for that. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a lot more light. It was a lot more um, fun. I think uh, using and burning the amount of cards that I did, it was a heck of a lot more fun, in my opinion. Uh, than burning cards because I'm dying as <laughs> because of this. So anyway, <laughs> until next time, thanks for stopping by.